Hello, my name is Carrie Schloner. I'm the director of Northrop and I am so pleased to introduce our 2021-2022 season. Coming together in community to experience the inspiration, awe, and beauty of arts and culture is one of life's great joys. COVID-19 has taken so much from so many over the past year and a half. But thanks to you, our supporters and audiences, Northrop continued to present amazing arts programs that lifted our spirits, created positive change for artists and audiences, and connected us in new ways. There has been so much darkness these past 16 months, but we have also seen firsthand the power of the arts to shine light into that darkness. Today marks another milestone as we emerge into the light of a joyous new season, a season I am thrilled to share with you now. We believe our 2021-2022 programs will inspire you with incredible performances by world-class artists. As you will see, it is filled with Northrop favorites and some newcomers. We are working with some long-standing partners and some new names. And we are offering you both in-person and online experiences. We can't wait to begin this new season. So when you're ready to come back, in person, we are ready for you. Enjoy this special preview and welcome back to Northrop. Now that we've seen the highlights, I'll take you on a deeper dive into the next season of Northrop Presents. My name is Kristen Brogdon, and I'm Northrop's Director of Programming. Last year around this time, we announced our new Northrop Centennial Commissions program, and now I get to tell you about the new commissioned works that you'll see as a part of the upcoming season. Two of these will come from companies who were originally slated to perform in the spring of 2020. Paul Taylor Dance Company will be at Northrop on February 12th with the first performance of Common Ground by Peter Chu. There will also be two classic Taylor works on the program, including Promethean Fire, a sweeping, iconic work that Mr. Taylor created following a different national tragedy 20 years ago. Martha Graham Dance Company will appear at Northrop April 2nd with a Northrop co-commission titled Canticle based on the earlier Martha Graham work Canticle for Innocent Comedians. We've been hearing from the company's artistic director, Janet Eilber, about the Graham Company's theme for the coming season, Human Nature, highlighting Graham's reverence for the human body and the expression of the individual as well as the individual's relationship to nature, our environment, and our planet. We'll also be opening the season with the Northrop Centennial Commission and premiere with some artists who you may have met online last fall. The project is titled Swing Out, and it will be a huge dance party on October 2nd, celebrating the roots of swing and Lindy Hop in America. Dance Theater of Harlem will be at Northrop for a performance next January 28th, with a program including their Northrop co-commission Higher Ground, with choreography by Robert Garland and music by Stevie Wonder. And we're continuing what's now a multi-year residency with Ragamala Dance Company, based in the Twin Cities and beloved internationally for their contemporary creations in the Indian classical dance form of Bharatanatyam. Aparna and Rani Ramaswamy's new work is titled The Fires of Varanasi, Dance of the Eternal Pilgrim, and it will appear at Northrop next February 26th. The artists and designers are in Northrop in technical rehearsals as we announce the coming season, and we've been so happy to host them periodically over the last year for rehearsals, classes, and amazing conversations with their friends and colleagues. It's also my great pleasure to announce our newest Northrop Centennial Commission with Limon Dance Company. 
their first creative process for a new work by Raul Tamez is happening right now in Northrop Studios and will host a performance of the company with the new work in the 22-23 season. Raul's work is inspired by a Limon piece titled Tonantzintla, which in turn was inspired by the churches in the Mexican city of the same name. We're excited to be hosting a creative process for the new work and to bring the finished dance to you in the near future. The other performances on our dance series are all co-presentations with our partners in the Twin Cities arts community. On October 22nd and 23rd, we'll be joining Twin Cities Tap Festival and the Cole Center to present Twin Cities Tap Festival concerts featuring Jumani Taylor and Max Pollock. November 10th through 14th, we're joining with Walker Art Center to continue our historic partnership presenting Bill T. Jones, Arnie Zane Company. The program is a very special and timely work titled Afterwardsness, created in the midst of the dual pandemics of public health and racism, and the audience and artists will all come together on the stage at Northrop. February 4th through 6th, we'll be back at the Cole Center, this time with The Great Northern, co-presenting Black Light, a research performance by Alana Morris Van Tassel and her collaborators. April 30th, we close the season with another Walker Art Center co-presentation of Third Coast Percussion and Movement Art Is, in a spectacular collaborative dance work titled Metamorphosis. I've been working with Third Coast Percussion since my Chicago days, and I believe in their creative process as much as their incredible performances. I'm also really happy to have choreography from John Boogs and Little Buck on the program. This year we have another co-presentation as part of our music series with the Twin Cities American Guild of Organists. Together on October 17th, we'll be screening the premiere of a documentary titled The Northrop Organ, Past, Present, and Future. The screening will be followed by a recital by Hector Oliveira full of tantalizing transcriptions and tangos. We'll also have two organ recitals as a part of the music series. Dean Bill Meyer on December 7th with a program that highlights the holidays, meditations, and rituals at the end of the year and Cameron Carpenter on February 22nd with his transcriptions of Bach's Goldberg Variations. Most of our organ concerts will be available again this season via live stream and on demand for a short window after each concert. We've loved being able to share these programs with a wide audience and have received so many compliments from all of you for the sound quality as well as the chance to see up-close camera shots of the organist's hands and feet on the manuals and pedals. As we reopen for live events, Northrop will also be continuing a few additional live stream and on-demand programs based on the online activities you all enjoyed and appreciated the most last season. We will be live streaming our student matinees with the University of Minnesota marching band and select companies from our dance series. Northrop's popular performance previews will also be on demand this year, available the day before the show and continuing online afterward, so you can watch before you attend or learn more after the performance according to your preference and schedule. The major program we're continuing on demand by popular demand is Northrop's film series. So many dance companies made beautiful dance for the camera works last season when they couldn't perform for a live audience. It's a pleasure and a privilege to offer a second run for these dance films this year, monthly for a week each time, including many Northrop favorites. We'll feature Hubbard Street Dance Chicago in September and Ananya Dance Theater in October. In November, Galim will reprise the dance film Boat that Northrop commissioned last year with Northrop's organ and the pop-up choir in the soundtrack. December will highlight the Films.Dance project by Jacob Jonas the Company, and the series will wrap in January with dance films by the University of Minnesota Dance Program. The film series will be Pick Your Price events, and there will always be a free option as well as a chance to support Northrop and the participating artists. Those of you who love ballet might find yourselves longing for more next season, and I'm pleased to let you know that we will also have online ballet engagement activities, including a live stream of the Joffrey Ballet rehearsing Northrop's co-commission of Mice and Men by Kathy Marston. That rehearsal will be September 22nd, so you don't have long to wait. Of Mice and Men and the Joffrey will be at Northrop in the fall of 2022, after the piece premieres in Chicago next spring. Many of the world's best ballet companies are focusing on their home seasons in the coming year. We support their coming back better than before, and I promise that Northrop still treasures ballet as much as you do. The Joffrey's Open Rehearsal is just one example of the ways that will keep you connected to artists and to our Northrop community in between performances. Many of these engagement events will be in person as well as online. You can stay tuned for updates via your email and Northrop's website. 
As you can tell, I am delighted to welcome you and our artists back to Northrop starting this fall. I do hope that you'll join us and that you'll let us know what you're most excited about in the coming season. You can enjoy these performances by purchasing a flexible, choose your own season ticket package of just three or more in-person events to receive the steepest discounts, priority seating, and invitations to special events. Single tickets are also available to every performance subject to availability, and many discounts are available. Learn more and buy tickets at northrop.umn.edu. I also hope you'll consider supporting Northrop's vision of using the boundless power of the arts to inspire positive change in our world by making a gift online at Northrop's website. Thank you for helping to keep the arts alive and on our stage. Thank you for joining us to learn more about our upcoming season. And we look forward to seeing you at Northrop again very soon.